Okay, hey guys, uh, so today we're going to be learning how to make a engine in Stormax, and uh, let's go. So, um, first I'm just going to build out a little platform for our engine. No matter how big the platform is. And first we're going to want to grab our engine. So there are three types of engines. We have our small engine. It's this one. The medium engine. That one. Large engine, which is that one. Now, there is really only a few differences between these engines other than the size. The amount of power they output, the amount of fuel they use, and also the amount of exhaust ports. So you'll notice on the small engine, which is what we'll be doing the tutorial on, we've got an air, exhaust, fuel, in coolant, out coolant, and our power. On a medium engine, we've got the power, got the air access at the front because this was mainly designed for aircraft when it came out but we've got two exhausts on this and one fuel on this one power the large engine's got the power but it's also got two exhausts so the only difference other than power fuel usage is that these two have two exhaust ports I'm not going to be using those today we're just going to be focusing on this small engine so i'm going to put this in the middle we're going to start piping things up. Now, uh, for the purpose of the video, we're using red pipes for our hot coolant, blue for our cold, or we'll use purple for the radiators, fuel, air, power, and exhaust. Those, that's just going to be so you know which is which. Okay, so let's start with the easiest one, which is our air. So let's grab the pipe. Now, obviously, you don't have to do the color coordinating stuff like I do, but I just make it like that so that it's easier to see. I don't do it in my actual vehicles, but for this, I'll do it. So pipes, the way that pipes work is that with they can carry fluid and they can carry fluid in both directions. So for this, if we would add a pipe this way, onto the air supply, if we added something that could pull air in, the air would then go into the pipe and into the engine, because it goes through the pipe. Now to get air into the pipe, because a pipe, believe it or not, that will not work. That does not work as an outlet or an inlet, it's just a pipe. To let stuff in or out, you need something from here. Well, there are quite a few things from here. So we have the fluid exhaust, which it can just sort of pretty much just looks like a car exhaust. Um, it can let fluid in or out. Um, so it can pull stuff in and it can push it out as well. We have the fluid intake, which is pretty much a big version of the ex exhaust in a way. Um, and it allows fluid to flow in and out. Then we have fluid port. This also allows it, this allows um, same thing as the exhaust again, but this is the most common usage for an air intake, fluid slot port. So I'm just going to use a fluid port because yeah, fluid slot port is pretty much just a big one of these. Um, exhaust. Let's grab our pipes. We'll put a pipe out to the side. I'm going to use a... We'll use a fluid exhaust for this one. I'll actually just... Um, put it up like that. And fluid exhaust. There we go. Nice and easy. Next, we have... Our, I'm actually going to do the coolant next. So we have our in coolant, so the cold coolant, and the red coolant, or the hot, so the out. So this, I'm just going to put a red pipe for going out and blue for going in, and we'll use purple on the radiator. Now, there are three ways to cool an engine. There's a fluid radiator, fluid heat sink, one of these, just a bigger radiator, at its core, or we can do water cooling, which you can use in boats. Now we're just going to be using the radiator today, 
um, I'll do a fur further video on how to get better cooling systems and stuff like that for your engines um, but that's all hooked up now we just need to hook up the fuel and the power so fuel do a bit more piping and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use one of these three fluid tanks now these fluid tanks hold liquids um, and you can change what type of liquid they store and they can have water, diesel, jet fuel or nothing. We're going to leave it on diesel which is the default because it's most common and there we go that's our engine that will actually fully run. Now next what we're going to do is we're going to hook up power just to show you that it is working. So let's get a small propeller, plug that in there. Um, the difference between fluid and power is that power connections are outlined by this orange circle where is a fluid connection if you can see as these blue connections probably can't see it that well but yeah that's that right now to get your engine running obviously we're going to need some battery because it's advanced mode so i'll just get a yellow my battery so i know you're probably not going to see the yellow at all but Next, uh, we're going to want stuff to control the throttle and start the engine. To control the throttle, I'm just going to use a simple throttle lever. Um, and we're going to name this throttle in select mode. Start value, zero, maximum value. Leave it as it is. By default, it will work for engines because the engines take a zero to one input. Then we will want a push button not a toggle button for you people who have come from simple mode because a toggle button in advanced mode will continue to start the engine and will drain your battery so you only want a push button so we'll call this starter we'll hook this up so in our logic we take the starter to our on off a throttle the engine throttle Go to your electric and take your electric storage from your battery connect it to all of your stuff there we go that's our electric done and our logic done now if we spawn this in so we have an engine over here we stick the throttle up won't do anything but start the engine and put the throttle up we see our engine is running at 20 rps the propellers going up we can see the exhaust is going out which means that that's working fluids working and we're using fuel which means that our engines running as well the battery won't go down because we've already started the engine it will run on its own without electricity now we could completely dump the battery out of the out of existence if this is running but as soon as it stops running we will need that battery again to start it up do that as well no engines work okay so now that we've got that done what we're going to do is just going to hook up a couple dials so that you can see how the engines actually we're going to hook up one dial in the game i'm going to call it rps set it from 0 to 20. hook it up to our rps from our engine give it electricity as well and here we go we can see our rps is at zero we hold the starter it's going to sit at 4.95 rps but we'll just continue to eventually pull down but if we stick the throttle up we can see that our engine is sitting at 20 rps now there are a few things that we can change about this firstly we don't actually need to have a max value of one let's set it to 0 0.5 we 
because engines don't actually need a full 0 to 1 value. You stick this up to 0 0.5 and start the engine. You can see it does actually get up to 20 RPS because of the load, well there is no load whatsoever, it's just the propeller. The propeller is spinning freely. Now there are a couple other things that we can change about this engine. I'm just going to set this back to a max of 1. But you can see if you click on the engine in select mode, we have our max power, which I'll explain in another video, but the RPS limiter. What this does is it says, hey look, your engine is allowed to run as hard as it can but it's not allowed to go above this RPS. So we've got it set at 20, which is the default. When it's set at 20, as you saw, the engine would not go over 20 RPS. If it did, it would start to pretty much make sure the engine didn't, otherwise it would, yeah. But we can bring it down all the way to five RPS, or we can take it up all the way to 100 RPS. I'm gonna take it down to 10, because 10 is the most efficient RPS or power to fuel usage and I've often found that you want to build something that's good for performance but doesn't use too much fuel but is that happy medium use 10 RPS see sitting at 10 RPS we are hardly actually the engines hardly using any fuel as you can see because the exhaust only occasionally goes off if you look at the fuel Look how slowly that is going down. Compared to what it used to be, that is going down very slowly. So, yeah, that's a... Uh, let's kill that engine. Yeah, so that is how you make an engine in Stormworks. Um, hopefully you found this informative and useful. Um, if you have any queries, leave it in the comments. I'll probably put a, another video up soon on how to do all kinds of things around engines things like obviously cooling systems advanced throttle systems advanced fuel systems we'll do stuff like how to use your power in a better way you know electrical management stuff like that my right, guys i'll uh, see you in the next video